This segment of Coast Life is sponsored by Vernon Powell. Well, we know for some of you, as the weather maybe starts to cool down a little bit with fall coming, maybe you're picking up a new athletic hobby. A little bit of running, a little bit of walking, tennis, pickleball, pickleball. Ooh, jinx, <laughs> all those things. Uh, no matter what you choose to do, you are going to need a good walking shoe or perhaps a good running shoe, which means Vernon Powell in Rehoboth Beach and, of course, Salisbury is the perfect one-stop shop. Well, just like Paige and I mentioned, if you are maybe starting a new athletic hobby that requires some good running shoes, or as Joe Wright, owner of Vernon Powell, has said before, if you've got a good running shoe, chances are you got a good walking shoe. Uh, Vernon Powell is the one-stop shop. Exactly, yes. It, it, more people probably use running shoes for walking than they do, actually do for running. Hoka is on fire. That's everybody's uh, favorite right now. But they're not right for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, So really what we do is we try to analyze people's feet, which sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? But yeah. We look at your feet, see what kind of foot type you have, and then we figure out what shoe is right for you. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, and I mean, Hoka, Brooks, all the brands that you guys carry, they, they come in so many different fun styles and colors, and you're, you're going to find something that you love for sure. Yes. Uh, you know, chances are we can find a color that you're going to like, <laughs> but the first thing we have to do is figure out what shoe to put you in, what type of shoe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean when I say neutral? No, I don't know what you mean when you say you <laughs> see. <laughs> so, um, if you have a really good arch, mm -hmm. you probably need a neutral shoe. But if you don't have a good arch, you probably need a uh, supportive shoe. Okay. So, if you have a, maybe a flatter foot. One thing that Hoka is so popular for is all the cushioning. Mm. So, you'll see in these Hoka shoes, there's lots of yes. cushioning. They're, lot, they're really thick, right? And that's providing cushioning, but it also actually provides support because your huh. foot sits down in that shoe. True. So it's wrapped around um, with the cushioning and it actually provides support. Makes sense. Yeah, you know, there's also traditional running shoes like Brooks. Yes. We carry mm -hmm. Brooks yep. and we carry A6. And some cute colors. Yeah. And so one of these is neutral and one is not. And what they do is you see this bar right here, uh -huh. you see all this uh, extra. Yes. Cushioning there. Yeah. It's actually a uh, higher density foam. And when you wear the right shoe, it can change your life because foot pain, if your feet hurt, it is not fun. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we try to make sure that, that we, uh, we make your life a little bit better yes. with the footwear that, <laughs> that you wear. Absolutely. Yeah. There you guys have some socks too that kind of go with the running shoes. Or do your socks matter? Are those important? Uh, we always start with a sock. Okay. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to ask you is what type of sock do you wear? Uh -huh. And a lot of people like cotton socks. They're less expensive. Makes However, sense. they don't wick moisture. So they hold the moisture in yeah. and uh, it's it's much better to have a, a sock that's gonna wick moisture away, prevents blisters. Mm -hmm. This actually has some um, strategic um, uh, pressure points where ah. it actually wraps around your foot. We get a lot of 5Ks around here, especially as uh, uh, September rolls around. So uh, if you're planning on running some of those 5Ks, we definitely want you to be well equip uh, equipped to run them safely, efficiently, and pain-free. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, if you do need to get your foot scanned, you guys do that and walk you through the whole process. Really? I, yeah, I would love to show you what we do. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Well, Paige is here. She's also going to get her foot scanned. So uh, we'll see what kind of foot she has and what kind of shoe is right for her. All right, Leah, Joe, I'm ready to go. So, all right, here we go. What yeah. kind of foot do you think you have? I think I have pretty perfect feet. I think I danced all my life okay. you know, up through college, and they've all done right. me pretty well so far. Well, we're going to find out. Okay. Let's take them off. Let's... All right, take my shoes off. Oh, boy. What's all up? right, hold on. I already messed up. Cotton socks. We're going to have to fix that. Hold on. Yeah, right. he yeah, did tell me. Leah no cotton socks. Ooh, these are already really comfortable. Yes, okay. And breathable. So let's step on the scanner. We're okay. going to get a, a, uh, a scan of your feet. All right. And this is going to tell me what kind of foot you have. Okay. okay. Yeah, all right. That's them. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, that's probably from dancing. <laughs> oh, no. You probably could use a little support in your footwear. Okay. All right. But you are nice and straight here, so that's good. Good. Yeah. And let's look at your pressure. Oh, the look heels. at all that pressure right there. The heels are yeah. rough. So you have pressure in your forefoot and in your heel. Okay. That's, that's pretty common. Okay. That's yeah. good. So let's see if we can figure out what kind of shoe to get you. All right. So the scanner gave me a size. What size shoe do you think you wear? I thought it was like a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. Yeah. It said nine. I might have been squeezing in I my I always shoes. like to double check. Okay. There. So let's, uh, let's measure your foot real quickly. Left okay. Heel. Now stand up straight. Okay. Yeah, that's the left foot. We actually measure your arch length and 
Oh boy, Paige. You've been wearing seven and a half shoes? Yeah. Well, um, I think everyone's going to realize that maybe you're more like a nine. <laughs> this is yeah. changing my life right I've been wearing the wrong <sighs> shoes this So 80% time. of women actually wear the wrong size footwear. Most of them a little bit too small. Yeah. We're going to get you straight today. But right. as you get older, mm. your, your feet change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yep. these are good. Uh -huh. I mean, my toe's right up to it. Yep. I'm a, all right. You want to walk around the I'm store? I'm a nine. Uh -huh. Oh, these are comfy, Joe. These are I, really nice. Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> all right. Well, Hoka's get a stamp of approval from me, so. I think this could change your life. I think it already has. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is one of the best days I've had here. <laughs> um, I can't even believe it. How do you feel? Don't change my life. <laughs> I know we did. I need to get rid of all the shoes in my closet and go buy size nine everything. I know. I mean, that's that's a pretty big difference. It's a huge difference. <laughs> seven, seven and a half to a nine. My feet, my poor feet, they've been through it, but I'm a Hoka fan now. Yeah, I bet you are. Nice. But I mean, I think the other thing that Joe was sort of saying to us is that your experience is not necessarily uncommon. There's a lot of people wearing just the complete wrong size shoe out there. You told me I could have had an arch collapse throughout the years, so I thought, oh, I'm an adult now I'm going to have the same shoe size, but he let me know as you get older, your shoe size can change. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you said you weren't even experiencing any foot pain, no. so it's worth going in and checking out the foot scan. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you aren't in the market for a running shoe or walking shoe, maybe it's just good to check in with your feet because yeah. they carry the rest of you. That's a very good point. <laughs> and uh, kids do, Leah. Yes. Yeah. Kids can get in on the Hoka game uh, at their Salisbury store. We yes. definitely need to make that clear. Yes. Uh, if you are willing to take the trip to Salisbury, your kids can be uh, outfitted with some Hokas as well. Yeah. And uh, they'll be super stylish and ready for all the play and fun and running around that kids do as well. But we know you may have a little bit of running around to do. Uh, so do that now and then be back in time for Coastlife because there's more of that coming up.